Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews from the Elements team and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at a couple of different ways to trim your video clips. For most video shooters this is a task that you'll encounter often and when you drag and drop your clips onto the timeline as you can see it here in the quick editing mode of Premiere Elements, apart from arranging those clips by just clicking and dragging them to new places on the timeline, one of the tasks that we do often is to trim those clips. There are handles on the left and right hand side of the clip which when you select and drag will enable you to trim the clip. This is called setting the out point when it's on the right hand edge and you'll notice in the preview that we get to see a preview of the trim point. So this enables us to get a very exact trim point to our clips. Let's go to the left hand end now and we'll click and drag on that as well and you'll see now in the preview that we also get a chance to preview the in point. So this is an interactive but manual way of trimming our clips. Also you'll see a little icon in the top right hand corner of the clip. This indicates that the clip has been trimmed. You can always restate the clip to its full size by just clicking on the handle again and dragging it out to the right or in this case out to the left. Another way that you can trim your clips is to move the playhead to the point where you want to trim the clip and then you'll see a little set of scissors sitting next to the playhead line, the red line that runs down through the clip. If you click on these scissors it will actually cut the clip at that point and then you can choose to delete, just hit the delete button to remove any excess. You could do that at the front or the back end of your video clip. I'm just going to hold down Ctrl or Command and hit Z now a couple of times just to reinstate that clip. It's the same as if I went up and selected Undo. But there's also an automatic way that we can actually trim clips and it's called Smart Trim. If I go down to Tools and then select the Smart Trim option here, you will see a set of striped lines on some of your clips. Also you'll notice that you are now in the Smart Trim mode. You can see that on the left hand side of the workspace and you can see that we've got some Smart Trim options on the right hand side plus a Done button to allow us to exit the mode. What Bellaments does when we're in the Smart Trim mode is highlight the sections of your clips that are not very good quality and it allows you to automatically remove these sections. At the moment I'm in the manual mode of Smart Trim. So if I right click on this clip, I can select all of the areas that uh, have been marked by Smart Trim and then just select Trim and those areas are hidden or removed. The way that Premiere Elements identifies the parts of your clips that need to be trimmed using Smart Trim is based on some settings in the Smart Trim options. If we just go to the button in the top right hand corner of the workspace and click on it, you'll see that we have two slider controls here. One is quality and the other is interest. By moving these two controls, we are able to adjust which parts of a sequence are being identified ready for trimming. The quality adjustment looks for things like brightness, contrast and focus problems. So the higher up this setting is, the more critical smart trim is in terms of deciding which parts of your clip can be removed. Interest works on a different set of criteria. It looks for things like faces and voices and motion to make your video clips more interesting. So if I move both of these up to the right hand side and make sure that we're in the manual mode and then click save, you'll see that more parts of our clips are going to be removed using Smart Trim. If we go back to the control and drop these down and then click save again, you'll see that no parts are now selected. So essentially it's a way of adjusting how critical Smart Trim is when it's looking at the quality and the interest in your video clips. There's one other control inside the Smart Trim Options window and that's the automatic control. Selecting this option and let's just move up our quality controls again and interest level again and click Save and watch what happens to the timeline. Premier Elements identifies the areas to be trimmed and automatically adjusts those. If we then add new video clips to our timeline, Premier Elements will automatically seek out and find the areas that need trimming and trim those all on the fly. 
My suggestion to start off with is to ensure that you're in manual mode until you get to a point where you can understand what parts of your clips are being trimmed by Premiere Elements. I'm going to click Save on that and then I'm just going to click Done to exit out of the Smart Trim mode and we're back into our normal editing mode. Smart Trim works by using the Auto Analyzer system within Premiere Elements so what this means is when you add new clips to your compositions and you go and want to use Smart Trim with these clips Premiere Elements will automatically start up the Auto Analyzer and spend a little time analyzing that clip to ensure it understands which parts of the clip are good quality, which parts of the clip have interesting sections that you want to keep, before the program then provides you with the striped sections as suggestions of areas that you can trim. This process only happens once and it takes a little while in the first instance, but once it's done the clip is then analyzed and you can go ahead and continue trimming. You can use Smart Trim to automatically apply trims to your video sequences or you can use the manual methods that we looked at at the beginning of this tutorial.